backwards. Okay, so hopefully I did this all right. I'm just going to launch VR chat and see if it worked. If it didn't, oops, if it did, cool. I think now, if I'm thinking right, you guys should see what I'm seeing. You guys should be able to see the, uh... oh, shoot. There we go. Now you can see VR chat. And you can see hands. Right, I forgot the last model I was using was Marissa Kirisami. Can't see the big hat. Let's go get an avatar. Which you will see my past sins here. Let's go get an avatar that's not a waifu, which I'll probably forget about for like half a minute. There we go. So, yeah, I did this. I did this. I feel targeted. Anyway, VR chat, we're back here again. I guess I'm avatar searching, and I guess I'm going to try, like, the weird little game worlds. And we'll just have fun for a little bit. Maybe some friends will jump in throughout the way, but don't anticipate anything like that today. This is a shorter stream, so I don't anticipate any friends to pop up. I suppose if you could see my lips moving as well, that would probably be a little more helpful to you to know that I'm actually speaking. Yes? Who's weirded out by this, by the way? Anybody who's not seen VR chat? Who is weirded out yet? <laughs> As just down there, Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet is grinding up bolts for his life. This is the most hodgepodge stream I've done in a long time. All right, I never tried the thing. How do you do the thing? I don't know how you activate the thing. Okay, I'll have to try it on my own time then. <laughs> so I guess we're going to go back to the old way. The grind dis Why did the grind disappear? Because it's covering. I know how to fix that. Give me a second. Okay. The grind is back. <laughs> Okay. Car crashes. Wait. Is this just what happens in VR chat on Valentine's Day? Bet. Stay away from me, monster. <laughs> okay. I see, I see head pats. I see head pats. That's fine. But I'm not gonna lie. I saw head pats, and then and I was gonna say, "Oh God, where's the oo woo pillow?" Because there's one around here. There's not, thankfully. Anyway, so in my infinite wisdom, what I thought about that I could—I'm not gonna play this one, by the way. What I thought about I could potentially do is, because um, for some reason, I was like, "Oh yeah, f like fighting games. Fighting games might have decent." avatars and then i thought what's the, what's the most anime fighting game blaze blue i don't know this is something i do a lot when i play vr chat it's just like it's just like look up avatars and then go play games it, it happens in that order but i will say if you folks are watching who have never seen VR chat are curious about this and whatnot. Also, let me look here. My thing's actually grinding. Good. We're still grinding. If there's help on flying, um, if there's any kind of like game or series, you could think, Oh, there is there an avatar world for that? Just suggest it. And I'll, we'll go look. Oh, that's the mirror. But yeah, so I just went and looked up Blaze Blue, and it looks like all we've got is the chibi stuff from. All we got here is like the chibi stuff or like the lobby avatars. Yep. 
I can become small. There. I have acquired status of small. There's no... Okay, there is no actions tied to... There's no emotes tied to these, to the buttons. Let's see. Uh, who can... I'm not gonna lie, I was actually kind of looking for, you know... Like full... Sc oh, like this. Like this over here. Uh, didn't want that world. I can't see. Found it. We're going to add this to a favorite. Because I add a lot of avatar worlds to my favorites. Just because I can. That way I can bring friends into a world at a later point. So like, I think this is going to be Jinbei. Or however you say that cat's name. Yep. Or, yeah, Jin. I think it's Jinbei anyway. Let's see. Yes, this is the cat Jinbei. Actually, pretty good physics on this. Pretty good physics overall on this model. There are hands inside of this. Like, because you can see my thumb poke up through there. I don't know. Guys, happy Valentine's Day. It's weird. I'm a cat. It's just weird. Moving on. Oh, there's two. Well, I know this guy is like a series favorite. I don't even know his name. There's also something down there. Oh. Why am I that? I don't like that. I don't know why I appear as this weird green dude when the model is definitely... My hands that I see and the model is definitely... There, that's what I was... That's the model I'm seeing in my hands, but it wasn't showing up for everybody else. Again, I don't know... I don't know Blaze Blue. All I know is that this is like a character everybody likes. And I think he's an asshole. <laughs> I will okay. To to be honest with you, I have found One Piece avatars, and I refuse to use them for some reason. I think I refuse to use them just because, like, even though I don't know anything about Blaze Blue, I'd be curious about Blaze Blue avatars. I refuse to use One Piece avatars because I feel like it, there's kind of like a stigma that comes with having a One Piece avatar. Like you've read at least 900 of the 1100 chapters. Stigma. Let's see, I know that's Ragna. And we also have, you know, various waifus over here, because that's just what happens when you play VR chat. You just get various waifus. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I know that's Susano, but I don't know who this chick is. I don't know who this chick is. I don't know who that chick is. I know who that chick is, and I'm not gonna go into that model because I know she is very scantily clad. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. This is Makoto. Dill got help. Moving in VR is a little weird. Oh, I was like, what the hell is going on with this? But no, it's just like weird stretching and morphing. It's like weird morphing and stretching as I do anything in this. Oh, God, that's terrifying, isn't it? Right. But you kind of understand what I mean when I say scantily clad. And that one back there is even worse. I'm not gonna lie. The morphing is <laughs> the morphing when you move your arms around is really ruining a lot of this. I would actually use one of these if the morphing wasn't all screwed up. Anyway, 
Oh, here. Switching to Morag, and then I'll, and then the other one I was going to go look up is... The other one I was going to try and look up that I just thought of was King of Fighters. And I guess I guess I could go look up Street Fighter 2. And I only bring up King of Fighters because the game just came out today. So why not search that world? Also, there's just worlds like this. Like, I know people like Shaman King. So, like, chilling. Chilling in, like, a locale from Shaman King would be a thing. But, I don't know. I'm sorry, what? I'm almost tempted to go to this place just because of the name alone, but I'm not. Okay. So, there's no King of Fighters avatars noted. Let's try Street Fighter. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. I think the answer is a resounding no. Okay, with all that done, let's just go look at game at game rules, eh? I can I don't wait. Damn I done guilty. There was one for guilty gear. Hold on. We can go look at it if you're curious. I do. I did find a world that had Guilty Gear avatars with Biken. So uh, keep in mind, if you're asking me to do this, if you're asking me to do this, you realize you're asking for my six foot two, very manly voice, very manly voice man to go into an avatar of, of, oh, well, there's Jack O, of, you know, Resident Samurai. Giovanna, Ino, Kaisuke. Oh, they've got... I think his name is Nakatoro. Where is the mirror? There is the mirror. Oh, God. They got him without his... They got him with, without his... Uh, they got him without his uh, helmet on. Listen, this is... This right here... It, there we go. This right here is like the Baird effect. He's like... It's like... Hella muscular dude. Hella muscular dude, gruff as hell. Face is way too beautiful for how gruff he is. <laughs> I think this guy's name is like Nagatoro or something weird like that. I don't play Guilty Gear either. I just know of this guy's existence. Oh no, Biken is Guilty Gear. Well, Guilty Gear and Samurai Showdown. Because... Biking got added as DLC to Samurai Showdown. Can I just grab... No, I have to do probably... Uh, no. What it has to be is... Oh, there's the helmet. This is probably what you're more used to seeing when you see Nago. Is this helmet on him. That's also super cool. It like, actually has the animation. There we go. One sword... Does he have? Does he have both? Uh, if it actually works, he does. Oh, he does both heaven and earth style. Okay, he's a he's a mixed swordsman. Didn't know that. That's actually this is actually really dope, by the way. <laughs> There's TF2 ad uh, things in here. That's stupid. Anyway. <sighs> May I find? Well, I know this one. Like, what was it? This is. Oh my god, she has like no wrists. So Ramlethel, part of the Valentine Quartet, I think is what it is. Uh, once again, you guys are probably more used to seeing her with this. Ramlethel. Although she. You know, she goes full blanky mode with this. Although she also has... There you go. 
I mean, I can't interact with these at all, but they're there. Have fun with that knowledge. Put those away. There we go. Also, I will note that a lot of the models that I've already talked about this before, but like a model like uh, you see back here behind me, it says like PC or not grayed out quest back there. Basically, this means like only people who are playing on the desktop version of the game or using something that's PC compatible for a headset will see this avatar just because there's so many flowing bits and jiggling bits. You kind of get what I mean? Uh, back up. Yeah, Mila Rage. Uh, don't know who you are. You're Beowulf. I think his name is Beowulf. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get really big really soon here. There we go. God, I move slow. Would you like to see the Potemkin Buster, Buster, or the Heavenly Potemkin Buster, whatever the heck he calls it? I look diminutive just because I am in this model right now, but trust me. I'm like, I'm like, Ramlethel would be like here in height, like below my hand in height. <laughs> How was that total looking? 76k? Fantastic. We were playing VR chat while grinding bolts somewhere in that direction. God, this is a hodgepodge stream. What does he have? Uh, I hate. I hate how this works sometimes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Keep in mind, like, you, you got to find the right models in worlds in order to, like, use them properly. Hold on, let me stick my hand out. Spin the wheel. There's a cord on the back of my head here. It's, it kind of gets in the way of walking. But anyway, when you find a model, like always, if you can, um, if you're playing on desktop, it's, it's the R button to open up this radio menu you see in my right hand. Or if you prefer, it can pop on your left hand. It can pop up on your left hand. Um... Yeah, you gotta find so you, when you find a model, you know, see if you like it, and then see if it's got any fun expressions to go with it, to build like add to it. I think I'll actually go back to the Marissa model in just a minute, just to show you some a good example of that. But let me we'll go look at some other stuff over here. Model avatar, same thing. Oh no, man, this is this man's. Oh god. This man's right here. This is peak 2008 scooter. <laughs> or I guess 2016. Gold Lu uh, Gold Lewis Dixon. I had to think of the name because I'm so used to Maximilian Dude saying Gold Gold Dick Lewison. Okay, there, he doesn't have his little buddy. Where does he have his crap? Oh, there's his crap. There's the buddy. And then there he is. Oh, it follows my hand. Sort of. So I have to have the coffin active in order to use anything with it. So take a look inside. As weird as it is, this is this, is this guy's weapon in Guilty Gear. Overkill, but okay. Yep, forgot that that's how that stuff works. Oh, yeah, Chip. I forget this guy's name. I forget his name. Jacko, May, Faust. There you go, Farf. That's you, that's you, that's 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 for you right there. As much as I call you out, I apologize. 
tall, skinny, string bean looking dude fast. Apply the wheelchair. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Oh my god, this avatar has so much crap in it. Just because Faust is like the pull random things out of out of his existence and do damage with them kind of things. Let's see, but I mean Listen, you you asked for it far, so you know what you're getting. Keep in mind, I've only got one hand because biking. Biking, as you can tell, there were jiggle physics involved because biking. So I've only got the one arm. Like I can move. Well, I can. You can see my shoulder rotate, but there's nothing. You cannot see the other arm because biking has, biking has no other arm. But I'm pretty sure, because right, I messed around with this a little bit ago. Oh no, she just has the gun in this. I thought the gun came out of her other arm. So yeah. But anyway, I also see that jacket avatar. I'm going to tell you right now, what that's probably going to do is it's going to drop the jacket and then... The other things are just going to be flying all over the place. So we're not going to mess with that. But what I did say is with the Marissa avatar. Changing. There we go. So with some avatars, they have a lot more interconnected stuff. Also, this is weird that this avatar has as many flowing bits to it as it does, yet it's quest compatible. Meaning it's it's impressive, but not super intensive. Yeah? Or I guess, Zay? So I have met... Not that one. God damn it. I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life. Okay, other hand it is. Oh, got it. Okay, it's under expressions. Okay, so I'm the one doing it wrong, not the mo not the controller. So she's got this bird. Oh, God, I forgot how you move when you've got this freaking menu open. So she's got her broom. Apparently, it, you know, going with the whole witch aesthetic, even though she can fly without it, she uses this. I don't understand it. This model comes with a scarf, on or off your call. And then we have spells. We have, go back. I mean, for one, I can just die. Scooter died, by the way. The Hakero. Which, why is that important? Well, this is why that's important. A great way to blind somebody. And then also, dodge... All, dodge. Just dodge. That's why you gotta have... That's why you gotta look for... That's why you gotta look at some models and see if they've got some fun stuff linked into them. Because sometimes they do. Also, they can have fun little emote things popped inside... Popped in... Hiding inside of them. Yeah? Anyway. I see that Darkstalkers avatars. No. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of. I keep coming in here because I keep. That's the cord. We're okay. I keep see. I keep coming to see how far we are. We're at eighty four thousand volts. The fact that the f uh, the fact that this is still working down here is impressive to me. Because I figured my computer would have blown up doing basically running two games at once at this point. Anyway. Uh, also, 
I can go show more of the avatars from this one. Well, for one, I am incredibly small, but I am also I am also emergency rations. I am emergency rations. I am emergency rations. There's a whole world I found that just has these we has like these weird avatars. Like some of them are halfway normal looking, like this very small Paimon. Uh, some of them not so much. The name of this model is literally called I Don't Want to Be a Sandwich. Which you guys probably saw just a second ago. I should use my left hand so I don't go sandwich mode on you constantly. But I have like deleted some of my avatars just because I'm not. Oh, hey, here we go. Hey, Parf, here's one. Here's one I'll go into that will bring back memories for both of us. Oh, God, that's really close. I mean, this is literally what I made in World of Warcraft when I played it. Like, to a point, down to the. And the. Hi, Parf. I remembered your horde. And the drain eye are pretty much in the front to everything the horde was. <laughs> okay, enough of that. So anyway. Oh, you were Alliance. Okay. See, I thought you were horde this whole time. Anyway. That, as an aside, now that we're done with this... Let's go... Well, I played Putt-Putt last time, so we're not going to do that. Let's just go searching random game worlds, eh? Oh, tracking went off. Uh, ghost... Chess... Gumball... What? Gumball. Let's do a, let's do another putt putt one. Sure, why not? Cause I've cause I have nil respect for myself, and we're gonna and I just play putt putt. So yeah, I suppose at this point, if anybody had any questions, I know. This, okay, well it's coming back. There we go. If anybody had any questions about VR chat or anything like that, now's a good time to ask. Because I'm just going to kind of blitz through stuff here. Desktop controls. No. Stand on the putty mat to open the ball spawning menu while holding your putter with your... Okay. Is it behind my head? Yep. I think it's by the same people who made the, the other one I played. There. This is more of the lazy approach I'm going to go with. I want that one. So, do we have just one map or do we have multiple? I, f I feel like there's just one map. Yeah. Once again, I'm on my cord, so I gotta turn around. Okay, that's gonna get annoying. Because I'm going to be doing that a lot. Hold on. Here. We'll be the best Fire Emblem character. This is not up for debate. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's me. I'm sorry, Farf. I'm such a fraud. I'm such a fraud and a bad friend. I should be. I should be hung, publicly. By a cheese wheel. Don't ask how we're gonna make a cheese wheel in, into into a, a gallows. It's just gonna happen. Ah, butts. Yeah, I think I think this map is was made by the same person who made the other putt map I was playing on Saturday. Uh, 
this one seems like more like classic putt putt, not like that semi weird realistic putt putt we were uh, we were doing the other day. I pretty much said the same thing twice. I'm well aware. Just work with me. Also, I will say the physics in this are pretty wildly bad. Like, that should have just rolled in. That should have just, like, tipped over the side of the, of the thing and rolled in, yeah? Now, okay. Now, I will say, yes, I am playing... I will say, yes, I'm playing this in VR, so the functionality is a little bit different. You don't have to play it with a VR headset. You can play this game. You can play VR, uh, VR chat on desktop mode. It's just that you don't have your hands to move around with. If you're in desktop mode, all you have is your right mouse. All you have is your right or your mouse being your head. And that's about it. Some models come with quote unquote smart, smart arms and smart hands. So you can move them independently using like keyboard controls. But those are few and far between. I saw one the other day and son of a gun. I saw one the other day and messed around with it and it just, it kind of works, but it's not, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. And I don't know how well it would work in like an actual VR scenario. Uh, get, get a crouch. Get a cr oh, that counted as a stroke. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. I thought this was like an open field right here. So I was like, oh, how do you do? Well, I know how I do. Boop, boop. I do bad. And also, you know, again, I'm calling out Farf again, once again specifically, but Farf my apologies. I literally thought you played. I did literally think you played Horde simply because every time I talk with somebody, it's like, oh, I used to play World of Warcraft. And it's like, oh, cool. I used to play on Alliance when I finally got full on into the game. It's like, and my their immediate response is, gross. You were Alliance. I hate you, scum of the earth. <laughs> so I just work on the assumption that when everybody's. And everybody, says oh yeah i used to play world of warcraft i assume they're horde even if i've talked about their uh even if i have talked with them in the past about about world of warcraft oh the easy one was okay, okay. well too late now A dwarf warrior. <laughs> okay. I think I can see it now also. Damn it. Damn it. I really wish that plugin worked. Sorry, I'm messing around with the... Uh... Twitch overlay thing for VR, and I guess I'm I'm doing it wrong. I'll have to try it. I'll have to try it in my own time, see if I can get it to work. That was this was this uh a Twitch overlay thing was kind of like a last minute thought today. I'll try to get it to work in the future. Get it to work with like a channel that's got a chat that's popping, we'll say, and I can just work on it in my own time. View. Although, if I recall correctly, oh god, this feels weird walking into a solid object. As is evident by the fact that I am having an auto body experience. Um, although, if I recall correctly, when uh, when the gate when uh, don't go off, don't you dare go off. Oh, 
<laughs> um, when we when uh, World of Warcraft got past Cataclysm, I think like uh, dr- uh, no, yes, uh, I think dwarves actually got access to being shamans as well, if I recall correctly, right? I could be wrong on this, but I feel like that's the case. Okay, yeah, we are in hole six, so. Okay, that's the hole in one up there. So if I angle it like this, or miss it entirely. I'm not going to go back for it, but yeah, let me confirm my sus- suspicions. Yep. Yeah, well, that's not going to go too bad. Let me turn around the other way. Too much, too many beans. Also, let me minimize this really quick. Oh, doctor. Hello again, Doctor Beamer. I see you have found. I see you have unlocked one of my two emotes. That emote drawn by Naraloka. Okay. Also, I'm glad I was right about that because I was gonna feel dumb if it was like, oh, dwarfs weren't shamans. Uh, uh. Ooh. But yeah, I feel like they gave, like, just because, like, tying a, tying Shaman just to Draenei felt really, like, really not polarizing. Um, felt like it was really forcing you to play one class unless you wanted to play on the other opposite uh, faction. They kind of forced you to play one race. And that's not ever really a good idea, so to say. It's an idea, but it's not a good one. I'm just, for me, I'm just kind of happy that I really liked the appeal of, or the appearance and the appeal of the Draenei. I actually can't believe I did that. Oh, look at me. Look at these old bones reminiscing about World of Warcraft and dying to a boss. Oh, God, like, look at this. Here comes a hole in one. Okay, I lied, but shut up. Uh, hole nine and winter podium. Okay. My jump scare. Yep, you found that one. So that's the funny thing, actually. So you guys have now you are Dr. Weaver has currently shown off both of my. Oh wow, I have to jump in there. Okay. Dr. Weaver has currently shown off both of my emotes that I have. I've thought about commissioning more, and the time might become more relevant now that uh, tax time is oh, dang it, tax time has come along, and also because I'm getting I'm getting repaid for some favors I did in the past for friends soon. I feel like I've said that before, and it's gotten rubbed, slapped in my face, but here I am saying that again. But yeah, like some favors I did for friends are getting getting repaid to me, so I might be able to. Go ahead and act on my idea to commission some more emotes. I have an idea for I have an idea for several. I just want to be able to pay the artist. I just want to be able to pay the artist before I put anything on paper. Also, I would like to actually draw like draw a rough sketch of the emote myself to give the artist I commission an idea of what I'm looking for. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, I'm Minnesota in I gotta say, yeah, after I say every sentence, yeah. Birdie. That's a birdie? I don't believe you. Oh, I'm currently watching. Well, also, you can. 
see me do in the yoga pose, but I'm watching alongside of you. I think I'm almost at 100,000. God, that's... <sighs> uh, so I want to... Oh, I got to hit this to get the hole in one? Ugh. Don't anticipate good times for a minute here. Oh, this isn't like the other ones. That actually isn't a fully raised platform. It's actually a little bit nicer. I lied. It's not nicer. Eh. <sighs> Son of a gun. Go beyond. Okay. <sighs> well, butts. Well, Larry butts. Yeah. I can't. I can't draw very well, so that's why I say when I have the ability to. When. I, when I say I would like to commission artists, I, I don't know. When I try to commission artists, if I can't provide a source or example of what I'm looking for, I feel bad. Because if I were to just say, oh, yes, I would like this character to look like this. And they I have no source to give them. They're just like, how exactly do you want your character to look? I feel terrible. Because uh, that's, a, that's a move. Because um, like artists most of the time can figure out what the hell you're, you're talking about. But, yeah, go up, go up. There we go. Most of the time, an artist can kind of piece together what you're referring to and what you're talking about. But sometimes, you know, source material helps a lot. I should say, that emote of, that basically is titled Panic, that was something that I actually, it was technically a commission, but I won it out of a quote-unquote contest. Just by being an admin and talking on, or being an admin and just chatting with folks in the server in question. Char uh, I happen to win it. Charles was like, hey, you won the raffle. Uh, what do you want for this? <laughs> we both kind of had a moment of, oh crap, this wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Trip. Oh. Trip. Task failed successfully. Uh, I'm going in. Well, at least I'm beyond the barrels. That's that's all I can say is that there's no Donkey Kong shenanigans going on here. Yep. Celebrate. We're halfway there, by the way. Go. <laughs> We're halfway to the point. Also, let me check something really quick. Uh, social. Okay. I don't think anybody else is online right now. Also, I don't get this. So, it shows my buddy Amatronics right here. But it also show my friend Alex somewhere in here. Because I added her to my friends list. But she's not in, a, she's not in this group. Anyway, just to tap it in. Just tap it in, happy. What was that? That was hole 12, yeah? Yeah, it was. Oh, we get to play in the Ferris wheel. Also, because I started the stream super early, I I don't know if I can go... I don't know if I'll stream longer, or if I'll just kind of stop at roughly like the two, three hour mark on what, for what I normally stream. Because on weekdays like this, I don't like to stream much more than like two or three hours. For those of you that aren't normals here, I don't like to stream more than two or three hours.
But who knows? Because I started the stream so early today. What is it? Let me look. Six o'clock. I mean, maybe I'll go to seven. Maybe I'll go to eight. I don't know. That's the other thing. Like, I haven't talked about this. I haven't talked about this yet with you guys very much, but broken thumb. I haven't talked about it with you guys very much yet, but I, I should mention it to you. That I can burp. No. At my job, at my job now, because I just started my job and I'm in my, I'm, this is now my first full week. Oh, it's not going to make it. So we'll do the definition of insanity, yeah? Um, so this is like, today is my first full week of actually working and not just training. I just got to get a hole in one in that hole. Um, but because this is actually my first full week of work at this point, I, can, I feel a little more confident talking about the job. So, um, I'm not going to say the name of the company just because, you know, dox, you know, potential doxing problems, but I will say I work, I work for a company that makes batteries and <clears throat> my work is close enough to my home that I have, well, as of right now, I have to report to work at seven in the morning. That's going to change in like two or three weeks time from now when I'm going to be working graveyard shift and streams are going to be all over the place when that starts happening. But right now I'm working the standard seven, you know, 7 a.m. to 3, 3 p.m. that a lot of warehouse work does. Also, schmeck it now. Now we got to now we got to wait. Um, so but because it's so close to home, because because the job is so close to home, I don't have to I don't have to get up super early. And I don't have to travel super far. And because of all that, going to work is more or less w wake up a little over an hour before work, do what I have to do to get ready for the day, and then get, dang it, and then, you know, get to work, get home, get home, like, basically quarter after three. I'm bad. Get home at, like, quarter after three. And then do what I got to do, and then as long as I'm in bed by eleven o'clock at night, I'm pretty much fully well. I'm pretty much well rested enough for the next day. And why I bring all that up is, oh my gosh, I made the exact same shot. And why I bring all that up is because, like, a lot of other jobs I've had, a lot of the other jobs I've had in my past, have been. Oh, excuse me. Uh, there it goes. Did I make... Oh, I made the jump. Hell yeah. Uh, interesting. Um, a lot of the other jobs I've had also give me... Oh, no, this is fine. A lot of the other jobs I've had, you know, I've had to drive half an hour or half an hour to 45 minutes one way to get to work. Which sucks and causes me to have to wake up earlier and then spend that much time on the road. And then at the end, and then a lot of those jobs are just like, uh, if, there's, if you're not quite done with your job, you need to stay, stay, an, stay an extra 10 minutes late. This job is clearly stated that do you start work at 7 a.m.? You should punch in be, by, between 6.57 and 7 a.m. No earlier, no later. And then at the end of your shift, when sh are you able to punch out? Between 2.57 and 3 o'clock. No earlier no later they don't expect you to do extra work if your job isn't finished they just expect that you work while you're punched in where's the scorecard hell yeah I botched it I actually almost made par that's a little sad what is all this so if I get in this hole here, oh, that's the hole in one. Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to be kicked out and have to go through all this whole fun house scenario. But yeah, so I talk. I mentioned that. Also, I'm I am speaking to you in the right microphone. Yeah, I am. So I do mention all that simply because 
suppose it. I do mention all that because it it uh, signifies the importance of getting a job, you know, if it pays you well as well, of getting a job that's close to your home. So a you don't sp- you don't spend a lot of time on the road. B you don't spend a lot of money on gas while being on the road, or you can even walk some days. And C, you know, you just have that much more time to yourself. Oh, well, uh, I could try for that whole. I could definitely try to hit that. Actually, that, that that seems really enticing. No, I can't. There's a little lip right here. It's preventing me. I'm stuck up here. Dang it. All right, we're going the long way. Buckle in, boils. We're go. Happy work on your putting game. Buckle in, boils. We're in for the long haul. Can I walk on that? Yes, I can. But yeah, so. Yeah, if you can if you can get a job close to home, it really helps you overall. A, you save a lot of money. B, you save a lot of time, which C leaves you with time to do whatever. I forgot that that makes you drop your club. <laughs> like to put things into perspective, when I was working at when I was working at my last two jobs, uh I guess at this point I don't work there anymore, so people can't try and track me down. Swiss Colony and Teal Plastics, respectively, for the last two. I was driving 45 minutes to half an hour, respectively, one way to get to work. And one job asked me to st- had me stay either 15 minutes, had me come in 15 minutes early and stay 15 to half an hour later every single day. I got overtime for that, but. I also still had to stay like up to an extra, almost an hour later every single day. And as some of you might know, because it has affected the stream schedule, is that left me with very little time to actually stream with you guys and talk with you guys on stream like this. It left very little time for that. But now that I am doing a job that is so close to home, because I am doing a job that is so close to home, I don't, I don't, I have a lot more time to do what I want at the end of my workday and not feel stressed out or, and I don't feel stressed out or anything at the end of my day. Why can't I? Yeah, I'm very, I'm a lot happier now. Because I have more time to do the things I love. You're going to roll right back off. Yep. (laughs) Dang it. Curve it. Curve it. Oh. Oh, that wasn't even par. So that was hole 16. So I think if I'm if I've read this right, this yep, these are the last two holes of this of this place. I mean, can either find something else or I can just call stream here. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Okay, well, my right hand no longer has the cursor on it. Okay, so it's just gated. Okay, that went through. Good. Hmm. If I had done that right, I actually think it could have just gone at least up there in one stroke. You know, I'm talking about about strokes, and that just reminds me of the uh, Robin Williams joke about golf. Very good joke, and I'm gonna butcher it because I can I haven't heard it in a long time. But just the part of stroking is just like, it's just like, it's just like fuck. That's what we'll call it a stroke, because every time you miss, you feel like you're gonna fucking die. Oh. 
double eagle? That's an albatross, my man. You call that an albatross. Well, I'm not hitting the par, but I'm going to get close to par. Basically, I just got to tackle the windmill. Scooter, do not tackle the windmill. You can't. You can't stop me. I'm going to. I'm going to go full rugby on that windmill. <laughs> Instinctively go to catch it. Ah, <sighs> oh, butts. Look at this crap. Look at this. Do you see, do you see this? Andrew. Just get over to the hole, man. I'm not asking for... Oh my gosh, I actually did that. Nice try. <laughs> Oh. Um, so Odin, to add to your question, there almost the almost everything that you're seeing me do right now, everything that you're seeing me do, all of these avatars you see me having here, all these avatars you see here, including the limit on avatars, this is important in a second. All these avatars you see me having. All of these worlds you see here, every single one of these worlds that you see here, everything is free. VR chat is free, but you there is a subscription service you can pay for to get you more VR favorites, a name a nameplate, you know, a custom a custom name, so you don't have this little additional thing at the end of your name if you're signing in through Steam. Everything is free. Everything. Because it's made by the community. I think it was that just some guys, some guys made the template for VR chat because VR, had, right when VR started to become popular, they made the template for it and people just took it and ran. Oh, there's a left-handed mode. Neat. Huh. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff we see here. But yeah, this is all free. Everything is free. Speaking of free, let's actually go look and see if we can't find something else to do for a little bit. Summer I.O. But there's the other thing, and I'm not gonna mess around with this. I'm just gonna show. I'm just gonna show this off, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go into any world with anybody during this, because without like a friend to be to be here and quote unquote play this with me to make it a safer place should things go awry, I'm not gonna go into a random lobby with this. But this is the other part of this is that it is the is that this is also this is this has games in it like made by users, but this is also very much a you know it's it's like an AOL chat room it's like an AOL chat room from the days or it's like a uh, what else is it, can I say it's an AOL chat room it's how second life was where you can just kind of be in your own avatar of your choice and talk with people that's kind of what this is it's just to come into a place like this once again user made come into a place like this and just the chairs are not interactable. Crap. I can't sit in any of these chairs. Poop. Come into a place like this and just hang out with people. You can even go to other places that aren't this, but this is like one of the most popular hangout places in VR chat. You can just sit around and talk with people. Like, that's why you see me turn you see me hit that button so much to turn my microphone back on. So I can talk with people in VR chat. I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. Like, he, this is me. This is Scooter, by the way. Scooter, who is, unless he's got a video game to distract himself, 
super antisocial. This is me we're talking about where even I find a, like if as long as I've got somebody to kind of quote unquote back me up, even I can talk in a, in a place like this, you know, kind of like a friend of a friend thing, or you're getting introduced to a new group of people. So you have a friend there also because Odin talked about it and we're, and Odin, uh, cause I know Odin, uh, would mildly appreciate this. Uh, I already talked with somebody else about this, but like there are tales, there's like an entire world that's tales of avatars. So you can be a tales of avatar. Lloyd Irving, Velvet Crow, Crow? I think her last name is Crow. But yeah, you can use whatever, whatever avatar you can think of. There, like I said, there is an entire world that is dedicated to just tales of avatars that before tales of arise. In fact, I can go find that really quick. Should I, go, I should go find that really quick. After I check up on you guys. But yeah, like, you can just talk with people. Like, I've been in a bar, like, uh, well, what's the, there we go. I've been in a bar like this before. And there were, I think there were 13 people in here. And, you know, it's just like going to a bar in the real world. You, if if you, you got, like, five separate groups of people just hanging out chatting occasionally the groups inter interconnect and both talk that way i don't know i'm incredibly antisocial, but even i like this aspect of you know you can still hang out with people in a in a avatar uh <laughs> in an in person but still have the conversations you can have yeah Anyway, let me go find that uh, Tales of World. Oh, shoot. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, this is uh, this is where I found this avatar, and there's lots of avatars for you to play around with here. We just gotta go activate them. There's also other there's also other tales of worlds you can explore just to hang out with. I, I mean, that's not tales of, but everything else is tales of. <laughs> okay, that's not tales of. I don't know. This is, these are I'm assuming these are all maps by the same person. That's why they're here. Why there's randomly two Boruto or slash Naruto maps here, but that I digress. Push. Uh, let me pop. Let's see. Also, for one, uh, this is super disorienting to fly while in VR because you feel like you should be falling. I'm going to give it down here. But I can almost reach it. But there you go. It's like as soon as they all load in. It is like every like pretty much almost every Tales of Avatar that's ever ex ex existed. And most of these avatars are based off of the phone game that's now dead. Tales of Crystoria, that's dead. So, but, I mean... Oh, shoot, what was the quick one? There we go. But yeah, like... I think this character's name is Arch, or Arche. I love this character's design. I would never put myself in this avatar because... Apparently, well, that's a moot point, because I put myself in the Persea avatar out of... <laughs> just because I can. But yeah, you got characters like this. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure the character that I that we both know you know Odin, you know, right here. Mr. Lloyd Irving, right here. Uh sometimes you do uh, I can't remember if it's an expression. Some avatar some of the avatars do have the weapons available to them. 
at just finding it on the uh, ha- on the motion wheel. But I guess th- I guess this Lloyd doesn't have his swords available to him. There is one in the uh, somewhere out here. Yeah, like, but yeah, I mentioned Tales of Castoria specifically because, I mean, that's the main that's the main protagonist. That is the best character. That is somebody else's favorite character, Vicious. I forget this character's name, but they're actually pretty cool. This is a care. This is uh, gotta forget her name. But yeah, they've got characters from all over. They got rat. They got Rat Boy. And they've also got like the holiday skin variants of some of the characters from the phone game. I just reckon I just recognize that's that's Yuri in a suit. And I mean, I've already gone over this. I think I think I've gone over this with some people before, but Oh, hi, boxes. How's it going? But I mean, they even got Beck's favorite character in here, so it's Tear. But of course, there's more than likely going to be copious amounts of avatars of Velvet. Because I think she's like the most recognized character in the series, and this and that's what they got the most of here. Like there's Velvet a third time, there's Velvet a fourth time. For sure in, the, in this wall, there's Velvet a fifth time. No, there's not actually. So you could just kind of, like I'm only pointing this out specifically because of Tales of Symphonia, but you can come in here and find an avatar that matches how you're feeling. From, from the Tales of series and go with it. Uh, yeah, even, yeah, there's Genus. There's your boy Genus right there. Bathrobe, wait, am I at 10? I'm at 120,000. <laughs> I can almost afford the Rhino. Close, thank you. Uh, I know Jade is in here. I that's the one character I know from. Not, um, not I'm not ta- not Vesperia. For, I, that's the one character I know from, not Berseria or Symphonia. That I, I know he's in here. I think I, that's him right over there, actually. Yeah, walking on the pedestal. Pretty sure this is Jade. Anyway, am I wrong? Like I'm ninety percent certain that is that is the man Jade himself right here. Does he have the spear? He does not. Does he not have his spear? Sir, where is your spear? You do not have your spear. It seems. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's why I meant there's velvet a fourth time. But yeah, this jump, jump. Yeah, like this version of Velvet, you know, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there you go. Like I said, some avatars just have the cool stuff into them. So Velvet's got the whole demon life-sucking claw thing, which has its own set of emotes to it you can kind of mess around with. Even has the whole back-of-the-arm blade she normally has. I don't know. This is just kind of fun stuff you can mess around with in this game. I'm standing, I, once again, the oddity that I'm with here is I'm just standing here talking to you folks, and I'm effectively in full-on waifu mode. It's weird for me. It's probably even weird for you. But something else I will add into the mix is that if you want to try it out this game vr chat itself not only is it free but because it has to run on vr headsets including the quest 
it's also not super computer intensive. Like I've like for me, it's actually intensive because I'm using an HTC Vive he- HTC Vive headset, which I'm poking with my face right now. I'm actually thunking it. You could probably hear that. And that's running into my computer, and you might be able to subtly hear my computer having an utter conniption fit behind me. But because it is meant to run on, on things like the Oculus Quest, and that doesn't have a lot of power behind it, it means it's compatible with a lot of computers because it's an older program even. I think this game I think this game is actually like eight years old now. Don't 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 quote me on that one. That is the sound of my computer going into overdrive. It just kicked on the turbo drive right there. So. As I go into this whole Zen mode here, uh, what are we at? Wow. Yeah, we'll go to about roughly the top of the hour unless I can't think of something else. Um, so while I'm sitting here awkwardly staring at myself doing a Zen pose, is there any questions? Is there any other questions I can field for you guys? Or hey, is there any world you want me to like avatars or world you would like me to find? <clears throat> Although something I will show off. I won't do anything with it. Actually, I might even mute the sound of the game while I do it. Cause this will be like Inception. Oh, is it not on a cross platform? Because it's not. Also, I will say that I will tell you guys that I have had a. Uh, Um, I've got a video that's just sitting on my hard drive right now of me like showcasing VR chat, but I want to wait until like, like I can get into a room with some friends and capture some like just talking moment. This is not what I wanted, is it? This is not what I wanted at all. I'm pretty sure. Nope, this is not it. Maybe this is it. But yeah, I have a video on my. I'm sorry, I'm sitting in my hard drive that just kind of goes over what I've been talking about with you guys today. And I've been meaning to upload that. To, I've been meaning to upload that to YouTube at some point, or like edit it and get it up to YouTube. But I want to get like a room with you know, one or two friends to just like have a conversation, me to candidly capture it, so I can sneak that in the video as well, along with everything else I've been saying. Also, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you yeah, you get a black screen during this. During these parts where everything's loading in, you get a black screen. But do know that the game is loading in right now. Ouch. It's also loading in a lot of information right now, so it's going to take a minute. There we go. That's what I wanted, right there. So yeah, this is just straight up. This is straight up Beat Saber, but in the game. This isn't the exact one. This isn't the exact one I was after. Anyway, let me. Uh... So I have to mute. Just to save my own sanity, I have to mute that. So let me. So let's see. Uh. I'm pretty sure I have to set this down. Like, I played Beat Saber on stream before, so I've... Damn it, I grabbed it at the end.
There we go. That could, we can meme with this. So you... Anyway, I don't want to deal with the the copyright bot wars coming in, so that's why it's muted right now. Oh, I went, I went the wrong way. Oops. And I died right, and I pretty much would have died right at the end normally. So, yeah. But yeah, I figured I'd show that off really, oh. I'd show that off really quick, is that even something that's like a normally like a paid thing in, in VR chat or in a, on Steam, something somebody has recreated it and a couple people have recreated it in uh, whatever. And I would play Beat Saber, but I'm 90% certain that a friend of mine, the person who, who A, owns this headset, the person who owns this headset and, and also owns Beat Saber is playing another game, so I can't really bar it from the library right now. But you get the idea. Um... Let's see. Well, actually, how are we doing on the stream end? I am oddly enough really close to getting all the bolts I need. <laughs> I'll be honest, I would have figured. Hold on, I'm not facing it right now. I would have figured that contraption I set up earlier would have broken on me by now. Like, it's, it's just over here. But I figured this this hodgepodge contraption I set up would have broken on me by now. But it is still holding up and doing its thing. So I'm really happy it is. Anyway. So, while I pop a squat and the model will attempt to bend and fold to me. Well, actually, that worked out pretty well. Sort of. Um, is there any... I will say, is there anything you guys want to see in potentially in VR chat that you're curious about? Because I can go off and search up some stuff to at least look at for folks that are curious about something. Otherwise, I'll probably, otherwise I'll probably kind of, I'll probably kind of wrap things up here on this on streaming, as weird of a stream as it is or has been rather. Something I will say though, um, if in case no, in case nothing else happens, having a VR headset and using a VR headset to like play games, even being in VR chat, if you have a VR headset set up to kind of just do stuff, so you're not sitting down and playing games, you get super active and moving in this. Like I'll tell you, I've had I've had instances where I've been playing Beat Saber, like the actual version of Beat Saber. I've been playing Beat Saber, and I swear I've gotten just as good of a workout playing Beat Saber for one to two hours than I would have doing Ring Fit plus my elliptical running. And then I proceeded to go from Beat Saber over to playing VR Chat, where I'm, once again, standing the entire time I'm playing. And 
help them having an out of body experience. But you know what? Yeah, let's good. Let's call it good there. Because as much as you guys probably want to see, much as you guys probably want to see that down in the corner, that uh, that bolt counter hit that two hundred thousand that I'm aiming for to reach my goal. I don't think we're, I don't think I'm gonna worry about it tonight. And I don't think I'm gonna worry about it tonight. Just like kind of do its own thing. And I think I'll just go ahead and end the stream here because I don't I don't stream long on weekdays anyway. So let me think. Thursday night. What do we want to do? What Thursday night? Well, I have been telling myself that I want to. I have been saying that I wanted to get back to playing Ring Fit Adventure a little bit because it was kind of a Thursday staple. Though the more I say that, the more I'm just kind of realizing I'm kind of burnt out on Ring Fit. Like my go-to now for working out has been has been using the VR stuff. It's been playing Beat Saber or it's been playing things like Beat Saber or being in VR chat an entire day effectively. And it's kind of been what's been driving me to do workout because again, as much as I have enjoyed Ring Fit, I've as much as I enjoyed it in the past, like I I think I've kind of burnt myself out on it. As that as that is. Oh, I can stir up inside of my chest cavity. So, yeah. Well, no, I think, like, if you're looking for something for working out, Ring Fit is definitely a 10. Ring Fit is definitely a 10, especially if you plan on using it to help you work out. It's just... It's just kind of the unfortunate part of it of you just can't play a game every single day for the rest of your life. Like all games have a shelf life. Tell that to, tell that to me play that who still plays Super Mario Bros. 3 on occasion. Anyway. Well, as is with tradition when I end off streams, let's see who we can go raid for the evening. I figured at this point it'd be kind of passing it along. And I should get out of my own chest cavity, shouldn't I? <sighs> well, let me stand back up. <sighs> and let's see who we can get you guys over to for rating. I am standing inside of my elliptical, effectively. I'm surprised I didn't kick it at some point. <sighs> Sorry, I'm kind of getting my head wrapped around it. I've been having I've been having kind of a mic well hold on while I come back to the real world sixty so man I've been kind of having this I don't know why but like right now I don't have a migraine while I've got the headset on but I but basically Sunday through most of my work day today like up until like twenty minutes before I started today's stream I had a migraine and it's gone now but I have a strong feeling that as soon as I take this headset off and go back to my Monday night after work, you know, doing some stuff or whatnot, that I'm going to get that migraine back. Anyway. Let me see. Let me take a look here and see who is streaming this evening, and we'll go throw it over to them. Uh, you guys get to choose who we, who we raid, because I always throw that option to you guys. And I won't be sticking around too much. Like, I should say, here's the weird thing. Here's the weird thing about using a headset that's connected to your computer. I am right now, I'm right now looking at my second monitor on my desktop. I'm looking at it while in VR, and it's I, I, I as soon as as soon as I take the helmet off, that that setup is gonna be just behind me. So. Let's see. Let's see who is streaming this right now. Ironically enough, no one. So 
So I could definitely use this as my, as my opportunity to keep streaming, uh, to keep streaming and kind of rake in potential viewers. But I'm kind of at the end of my rope for today in terms of energy. So I'm just going to call it here. Uh, any other questions before I wrap this things up tonight? And yeah, I'll weigh my options what I'm going to do on Thursday for a stream if I do stream Thursday because I kind of have been cutting out on those streams, I will admit. But if we do something, I'll let you guys know. I think personally, I'll push. I think personally, I will make the push to try and stream. Um, excuse me. I'll personally make the push to try and stream on Thursday and try and make it ring fit just to kind of quote unquote, kind of quote unquote, relive glory days. But that'll be for what to see when Thursday comes along. I'll build a sample, man. Let's go find him. Let me go find him. Thank you. Thank you, Farf. Because even though I know of... Even though I know of all these people... Oh, gosh. Sorry. Trails of Cold Steel, too, huh? Well, we'll raid him. Uh, I don't know what I don't know for any kind of raid message, but we will send the sample man some love. Oh, I missed a letter. By the way, I'm doing this all within the headset as well. Setting all up all this raid information. So yeah, we'll throw it over to Sample Man. Everyone, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Um, I'll let you know on Twitter what happens if I stream something. Which, by the way, if you're a newer viewer, Twitter's down below. So is my YouTube channel and whatnot. Uh, maybe I'll spend tonight just piecing together the parts of the VR chat video I keep talking about that I have and see if I can't get some other footage at a later point. But you folks, let me start the raid. Yep, yep, help. Okay. You folks have a great evening. And hopefully I can do something more with these with these VR chat streams than just me exploring random worlds and and advertising it and more doing the chatting part of VR chat instead of flexing that I have the headset. Anyway, I'll see you folks later. Take care.